Turbans Inc. Odessa. Today we'll be setting up the fluid well monitor for an inch and a half meter for barrels per day. Right now it's in our fast setup menu. Now we need to put this in full menu, so to do that hit program enter, hit clear, it's in full, hit program enter again to lock it in, clear it twice, and now we're to our full menu. Hit select, will take us to our first tier, asking for a unit, so, so to change that you're going to hit program enter once, select, to you find BBL, hit program enter, this will lock it in. This is in tenth of a decimal, that's what the one signifies. If you wanted to change that to a zero, just to see a whole number, you could do so. In this case, we'll be using one set for a tenth of a barrel. So we select one, program enter, lock it in, and go to our next step, one three for our K factor. You use times 42 times the number on the tag to put it in barrel form. If you wanted gallons, you would put that in just as you see on the tag. For inch and a half, our K factor is 13440. So to enter that number, we're going to use program enter. And we're going to put this number to the far most right with no zeros behind it. So to do that, we're going to hit clear to get to our third number. You select to change that number. First number will be 1, our next number will be 3, next number will be 4, and our last number will be 4. So we have 13440 in there as our K factor. Now we hit program enter, this will save our K factor. Now if we need, want to put decimals into that K factor, we can do so here again with the decimals. Uh, in this case, our uh, 13440 number is a whole number, so hit program enter. We're going to change DCS to a zero, signifying no decimal point needed. Program enter to lock that in. And hit select to get to our next tier. And back to one total. Now from here, we're going to hit clear. Now the same thing we did for for total, we're going to do for our flow rate. So to move up to our first tier in flow rate, hit select. Our first unit descriptor, we're going to change that to barrels. So to do that, hit program enter. Hit clear. Until I get to BBL. The unit descriptor we'll be using today. Once found, then hit program enter. Program flashing went away, so it's locked in. Hit select. Now we're going to use our time frame. Uh, just right now, set up for a minute. We're going to hit program enter. Find day. Second day. So once it's found, we're going to hit program enter. Lock that in. You select to move to your next tier, two, three. If you want to see tenth of a barrel, hundredth of a barrel on your flow rate, we can do so here. For inch and a half, we want to see tenth of a barrel. And that's what our one is signifying. So if you want to change that, hit program enter. Clear. In this case, we're going to choose ones. Program in to lock that in. Select. So the same thing we did for one three, we're going to do for two four. So you're going to enter your K factor here by hitting program enter. Clear to our third numeral. You select, change that first one to a one. Next number will be three, four, and the last number will be four. So 13, 4, 40. Once you have a K factor in there, hit program enter, lock it in, hit select. If we wanted to put a decimal place in that K factor, we could do so here. Uh, for 13440, it is a whole number, so we don't need a decimal place. So to change that to a zero, program enter, clear, program enter. This locks it in, now it takes the decimals out of our K factor to read as a whole number. Now hit select. Pulses are set to 100. We want to set our pulses to 10. This will give us a more instantaneous uh, refresh rate for our flow rate. And to do that, hit program enter. You're going to make that first number a zero with select. Our next number will be one. It should have zero, one, zero. Hit program enter. It'll make it 10. Now hit select. It's off. Now this is your threshold cutoff for the meter. It's 30.0 is pretty standard across the industry, so we want to leave it as is. So from here, you're going to hit select. Now we have one more step before we get done. You're going to hit clear so you get to 5 flow meter. You're going to hit select. And if you see anything besides coil load, 
on your signal, you want to make it coil low. So in this case, it's already set to coil low. But if you need to change that, hit program enter, hit clear, so you find coil low, hit program enter, lock it in. And that way you can filter out any extra noise or turbulence from the meter that you might get and it won't pick it up as a pulse. Now to hold down program enter button, this will take us back to our run menu.